and, and then what what do the different colors? Uh, the color is like just the color of the display. So okay, mean, okay, it doesn't impact. Okay. Um, you take and try to. So no, that's when we listen to that one, trying to make some kind of. <laughs> you might also be picking up the information from this one. Oval shape. This is fascinating to watch them try to do this. So it's kind of a living system going on. A different kind of life. Hi, hey, we're here at Emerging Technologies of Sigra, and we're speaking with. Matthias Jakobsen. Hi. From Sweden. Hi, welcome. And you're holding a... So this is a Glowbot. Uh, it's a design that comes from a previous study of owners of odd pets, like snakes and spiders and lizards. So I tried to transfer some of their qualities in their relationship and interaction uh, through new robotic designs to explore the design space. This is quite different from cats and dogs. So the idea is here that you have a robot that you can pick up and shake to give it a little bit more energy. Then it will try to spread that pattern on the top onto its fellow robots. So this one is now trying to teach that one its pattern, so it will be more similar. And uh, if you look over there, you have three that are trying to combine their pattern into something, uh, something interesting. Uh, trying to reach some kind of consensus. I haven't really decided, so... <laughs> and also, well, the more stimulated they are, the more you can put they uh, one in the middle. So uh, those, but, uh, uh, that one is out of battery. <laughs> so what is the uh, He used up his energy. Yeah. Well, the idea is to so now, find those two are trying to make some combination. Humans and robots. They're both talking about which so wonderful pattern they have. So they try to come up with yeah, something yeah. more similar. Realist. So does it always work, or...? Yeah, yeah, so mostly. You never know, so uh, they are individuals, so they can be frank. <laughs> so, and also, if, if you cool them down like this and uh, put them on the side, they will start to mutate the pattern, making something interesting that will attract the user uh, um, sorry. to pick him up. So oh, that's an interesting pattern. Give him a shake and you set him off, spreading uh, the word. So it's like the okay, latest yeah, so fashion in <laughs> patterns. Having, uh, human it's really cool. So now how are they individually programmed? How, how yeah, do they well, learn? They run the same program, but it's, they have different flavors. And it kind of, they continuously evolve. When you turn it on, you need to so they learn. Yeah. Stimulation too. And so you don't know where they're going. So you don't know what these will do one day. One day you wake up and... <laughs> They've created they something you never expected. Uh, stars or <laughs> other interesting shapes. <laughs> you never know. So that's pretty fun. So you're never quite sure what they're going to do. Well, uh, we're doing some uh, evaluation, putting them in people's homes, trying to find out how they interact with them, uh, what kind of relationship they will have with them. So what is the future of the project? What would you, where would you like to go from there to see how it evolves by itself? Or? We haven't really planned anything. Okay. For commercial applications, one never knows. You never know. Thanks. Thank you.